everyone, I am sitting outside Lulu's vet. Only one person can go in with Lulu, so hubby went in with her and I went ahead and got our treats from Serrano Bakery. It's a beautiful day, so I'm just going to sit and read my book. Hello everyone, it is Mother's Day weekend. My parents are actually in Australia, but it's my aunt's birthday this weekend. So we're going to celebrate her birthday alongside my birthday because it's close enough together. One of my sisters is going to be there and then the two of us and because it's just the four of us we're going to meet for lunch instead so that's something new and different and exciting. Uh, usually we meet for dinner because my dad prefers that. My aunt treated us to bubble tea. We went to cha time. I got the Thai milk tea with sea salt crema. everyone and welcome to another vlog. I don't remember if I said that already. I feel like I did film some clips maybe on Mother's Day weekend. It's been a while since then and I actually got sick after that weekend. I think I overdid it in terms of just like running around and seeing people. I started feeling like my body was fighting something on Wednesday. My friend had made me dinner. I did mention to her that I was feeling under the weather and I thought I was getting sick. I was very very sniffly that day but I took a rapid test and it wasn't COVID so she she was perfectly fine with me going over anyway. I was pretty tired that afternoon, but um, I was really happy to see her. She made me this amazing beef noodle soup dish. It was perfect for the way I was feeling. I only stayed at her place for a short while, basically just for dinner and dessert. She made um, this rose ice cream that was also delicious. I was pretty full, otherwise I would have eaten more. I probably could have eaten like half the tub, but um, she had also bought some desserts from De La Say. Unfortunately, one of them collapsed, the hazelnut one, but the rest were still in um, like perfect condition. I'm feeling better now. I actually have a lot of energy today, but I am very, very congested. Yesterday in particular, I was super congested, just a major, major head cold. I am sneezing all the time. I am sniffling but I'm on the tail end of it, so that is wonderful. The good thing about this round of me getting sick is that I didn't get a sore throat at all. The sore throat is my least favorite part of being sick. I can deal with all of the other stuff, but the sore throat is um, what I find the most uncomfortable. I think part of the reason is that we still have a few ginger shots left. I have unsubscribed because um, it's pricey and I figured with the spring and summer we wouldn't be as susceptible. I was taking them during the Mother's Day weekend, I think. But I may not have been consistent with it, but definitely as soon as I thought I was getting sick on Wednesday, I started taking them daily. Maybe that's what kept the sore throat at bay. So you may notice that I am in a different location, and that is because I had an idea today when I was writing morning pages. I decided I wanted to pick up my entire computer setup and put it in the bedroom. Now we used to have a desk in the bedroom, we used to have like this makeshift standing desk, but that was probably over 10 years ago. I moved everything here this morning. It did take around an hour and a half, I think, because I was vacuuming and cleaning as well. But um, I'm all set up now and I'm so excited to get to work. I am proofreading my book before I send the full proof out to print. So I'm going to send it to print as like a book. But before I send it out, I want to make sure I've caught as many typos and formatting issues as I can. I've already caught a lot and I've only done the introduction and the first chapter. So I'm really excited to get to work in my new workspace. I think it'll come in handy to have um, the ability to close the door, for example, if I have a meeting or if I want to attend um, an evening workshop. So that was one reason. The other reason is that I wanted to face the window. I really wanted to have some natural light in my eyes and before my desk was just facing a wall. So now I can lift the um, blinds and I can look outside, I can get light on my face 
and I'm just really excited to be able to see some natural light. Like, I use my creative energy, I feel like I use my body to like move stuff around. Very productive morning. I do still need to go out to get my steps, but it's a rainy morning, so um, that's why I've kind of like holed myself up in the condo. And I plan to go out probably in the afternoon once it clears up and hopefully it'll be sunny by then. Heavy and I are having tacos for lunch and at some point we're also going to have nachos. So what we have here is um, ground turkey with some taco seasoning that I made from the spices that I have in my cupboard. And I haven't made taco seasoning in so long, but it's super easy and very delicious. I actually love taco seasoning. I decided to buy some hard shells today because we haven't had them in a long, long time. And I've also got lettuce in case we want to do lettuce wraps or we can tear up the lettuce and put it into the taco. Some grated cheese, which heavy grated for us. We've got um, some avocado halves. And then we've got some salsa some tzatziki sauce and some sour cream that was really delicious and i am very full we ate the entire box <laughs> of taco shells there were 18 in here and hubby said when he counted them there were actually 19 and not only did i have the um crunchy shells i also had lettuce wraps so those were really good too i made about a pound of the ground turkey with um, onions, garlic, and this taco seasoning, which I still have more of, and we finished all of that as well. I'm quite full. I think hubby's full too. So I think we will have just like nachos for dinner or something like that. But this was really delicious and I will make it again. Hubby's been buying some early birthday treats for us to enjoy. He bought us Cops donuts the other day. Very delicious. It was a smaller set. I think there were 12 donuts instead of 18. So they were very easy to eat. And today he brought home Craig's cookies. Yummy. We wanted to go pick up some cookies when we were at Yorkdale for that um dim sum with my family but as we were leaving the mall was really packed and um there was a huge line so we decided to forego it but he um bought us six cookies in the cutest little box this one here had to be smushed in but it looks particularly delicious i made nachos for dinner and i did put on some of the lettuce that we had left over from yesterday's tacos i'm really in a using things up mood and i actually have some green onions too so maybe i should cut some up and put that on top I think I will. It is my birthday today and I've had a really nice morning so far. I woke up pretty early and I did my usual morning routine. Then I did a tiny bit of work for the writing studio because we are coming out of a long weekend and I'm also filling in for my colleague for a couple of weeks while she's on vacation. So I didn't want to fall too far behind with email, but it was a very pleasant quick check. And then I went out for my morning walk, just a short walk because hubby and I will be heading out later. Came home, opened some gifts from hubby, which were really nice. And now I am working on my book. Hubby went out to pick up my birthday cake. I'm going to show you what hubby got me before I forget. But he got me a bunch of food, which I really love. I love receiving food as gifts. So the first thing are these wafers. I adore these wafers especially this flavor which is the matcha green tea flavor here are the other two flavors he picked out cocoa and milk and also blueberry yogurt he got me these i thought they were nougat but i'm not too sure now because it says white truffle and sweet truffle so I guess they're chocolate he also got us these varieties of truffle mayo this one we've tried before. I think he put it in my stocking this past Christmas. And then this is the spicy version, which I think he said was new or um, maybe just like new to us. And he also got me two bottles of nice port. I haven't had port in so long and I keep saying, oh, I want to buy a bottle of port, but I never do. The last thing he got me is new running shoes. So he got me these. These are also Adidas Ultra Boost. The ones that I have are black and they are very beat up. There's actually a hole that's emerging in the toe here, I guess because my sharp toenail dug a hole into the shoe. It's only on one side. Hubby noticed it and he was like, what happened to your shoes? And I was like, poked a hole in them. Hubby went to pick up my cake. I will show you that a little bit later when we're ready to dig in. 
And he also got this. So on top, there's a little mackerel. And then he bought us two treats. First one is this like bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a little rubber ducky. And then the other item is one that we've had before. So this is a carrot cake that's shaped like a rabbit. So cute. So we're gonna enjoy that with the uh, hubby's having coffee and I'm having my free Starbucks drink. This is a chai latte with oat milk. My sister passed by and dropped off these donuts from Donut Hive. There was one missing because we ate it when we were downstairs. We basically cut it into quarters and we shared it with a couple of her friends that were also here. And uh, the rest are for me and hubby. The one we shared was actually very good. I think it was like a fruity nutty flavor. Hubby and I are heading to Mimi for my birthday dinner. I had originally wanted to go to Sunny's, which is the sister restaurant, but it's actually closed on Tuesdays and I believe Wednesdays. So we decided to go back to Mimi because we had such a good time with our friends when we celebrated my friend's birthday. I'm excited, even though I'm not that hungry. I ate a lot of snacks today. Hubby ordered the panda colada, which comes in this panda tiki glass. It's so cute. <laughs> Birthday dinner yesterday was awesome. I am so full though. I think I overdid it and I actually didn't have room for birthday cake yesterday. So we are going to eat it today instead. One thing about moving my desk into the bedroom, because hubby wakes up later than me, I don't have access to my setup. So I've got my travel laptop here. Looks like that. And I'm gonna use this instead and see how it is. I think what I'm gonna do first is some work for the writing studio because um, I pretty much took yesterday entirely off aside from a short email check in the morning. So I wanna catch up on a few things. And then um, it's going to be a lot of work on my book today. Hubby is also off today, but we don't really have plans. I think we're just gonna stay in. We have this massage exchange happening right now. We decided to do that um, at one one of our family couch times we talked about it. I had posed the idea a while ago, maybe even like a year ago. Hubby wasn't too keen when I first presented the idea, but when I brought it up again he was more open to it so we decided to try it and it's been really fun. So the massage exchange is basically us like giving each other massages and the parameters around it are um, that the massage is half an hour they are not on the same day so that um, when I get my massage, I can like fully relax. We get to choose what we want massaged. So right now that looks like hands and feet. For some reason, like both of us really love hand and foot massages. So we split the half hour among the body parts we want massaged. So right now it's um, seven and a half minutes if we want like both hands and both feet massaged. So yesterday I had mine because it was my birthday. So I did choose hands and feet and it was so relaxing. I went to bed right after. I think I think I went to bed at like 9.30 yesterday or like before 10 o'clock because I was just so exhausted. And we're doing the massage exchange twice a month. So we each get two massages and I had another one two days ago. So I've already had my two massages for the month and that means I have to give hubby two massages. A selection of the um, donuts that my sister got us. The one that we had shared downstairs was pistachio raspberry. That one was really good. And then the rest of the flavors are tiramisu, creme brulee, matcha, dolce de leche caramel cheesecake, uh, salted caramel. Kinder. No. Oh, bueno. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. I am going to open the birthday cake now. It's so cute. 
This is the peach cake from Van Gogh. It's so pretty. Let's take it out. Oh, oh how did you light it so easily? Cool. We've had the same box of matches for so many years that the um, strip, that like sandpapery strip, is so worn down. It takes me forever to try to light it. There are two sides, but both sides don't work for me. The hubby lit it very easily. Okay. There's a layer of osmanthus jelly on top, which is um, like a Chinese dessert that I really like. It's got like a florally flavor, and then there's a cat, lucky cat. I can't remember what flavor. Oh, this is the peach flavor. And then we still have this one. Into thirds. Like this? Into nine? Nine. nine. Yeah. Nope. So Uneven. 16. <laughs> eight. I'm going to eight. Eight would work. Okay, eight would be like this. Then like this. Yeah, that's good. Oh, so soft. <laughs> Crispy part on the bottom. Peach slice first. The other reason we're eating this today, besides being full yesterday, is because they said you have to keep this cake out for an hour before serving. And that would have been really late. Cheers! Mmm. 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 It's peachy. peachy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first bite it didn't seem very peachy, but then it was very peachy after. Maybe it's in the jelly. The osmanthus jelly. They're very good. Mm -hmm. I want to try this thing. This peach on top is so pretty. I wonder what it is. It smells. It smells almost like mochi, but I don't know if it's Must mochi. Be. Is it? Mmm. Mmm. What's this? Like a bean paste. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Must be red bean. That's good. I don't think it's red bean. It's probably white bean. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Sounds good. We had to give Miss Lulu a bath. She barfed yesterday in her bag. So she was a little bit stinky. She always looks so tiny after we bathe her because her fur isn't super puffy. She's been shedding a ton too, so she's lost a lot of fur, but she's still quite fluffy, but now she's still uh, damp. So, <laughs> so she looks really, really tiny, tinier than usual. And I am about to make tacos again, so she's waiting for um, some ground turkey, which I will give her very soon. It's been really hot in Toronto, but this weekend is a little bit cooler. So hubby and I turned off the air conditioner, we opened the door and we put up our hammock. So we're gonna enjoy lying in that pretty much all weekend. Hubby is on the balcony lying in the hammock and I'm about to start my moon planning. It is the full moon in Sagittarius this evening. And a couple of other benefits of having my desk in this spot besides the natural light and besides being able to close the door is that um, I can actually see hubby right now as he's lying on the balcony because he's like right in front of me or the balcony is right in front of me. And then the other benefit is that I can also see the TV. So the baseball game is on and I can keep my eye on that. Whereas my back was turned to the TV before. So if I wanted to see something, I'd have to turn almost 180 in order to see what was going on. So this is a lot more convenient. And surprisingly, I actually don't get that distracted when it comes to sports. So I can focus even with the TV on. So I'm going to get to moon planning but I do want to have some balcony time later because I am 
reading this book right now, which so far so good. I'm only a little bit of the way through. I've read this much. I find the plot is pretty captivating though, so I do really want to keep reading this. And it's interesting because this is a translation. The original text is in Chinese, and I typically don't like super gravitate towards translations because I know a lot can be lost in the meaning. But so far, I'm really enjoying this book. Hubby and I are heading to Sunny's. This is Mimi's sister restaurant, a casual version in Kensington Market. And apparently it's in the old cold tea location, which we've been to a couple of times, I think. Hubby and I are back from dinner and Sunny's was really good. I actually, I think, slightly preferred it to Mimi because um, it's more of a casual atmosphere. It's walking distance. That's a big plus for me. And I just really liked the food. It was delicious. We ended up ordering quite a few things because we were both very hungry. I thought maybe it would be a bit too much, but it was actually a reasonable amount of food. I was pretty full at the end, but we did get both of their desserts. Soy milk soft serve and also a Hong Kong style French toast. It's Blackbird, which is a bakery in Toronto, Hong Kong French toast. So I guess they get the bread from Blackbird, black sesame jam, oolong condensed milk, and butter. Mm, so so good this was an interesting place because it did take over the old cold tea location and it's a very nondescript entrance that you can't see from the street cardboard sign that says like sunny's chinese this way and then you go down this hallway into a building deep in kensington market so there are um thrift shops all around vintage stores all around and then you go down this hallway and it's just this door with again like a cardboard sign on it and i do remember something similar for cold tea and you go through this door and you're just transported into a fun restaurant so overall we had a really nice time I do want to end off this vlog, so there are a few more things that I wanted to talk about before I do that. A few more treats that I received from um, the people in my life. So, so sweet. The one treat in particular I did receive before my birthday. Let me just go grab it to show you. My friend sent me this chocolate basket from Costco, which is so lovely. I was planning to open this on my birthday, but I had um, a lot of treats to get through and a lot of them were um, like perishable, they wouldn't keep for very long, so I wanted to eat those first. And I knew I could open this at a later date, which is great, and work my way through the rest of these treats. I'm so excited about this, lots of chocolate and cookies and delicious things that I love. Similarly, I had um, a friend drop by with uh, some birthday treats on the Friday after my birthday. It was perfect timing because we had just finished all of the treats that I had received on my birthday. So my friend dropped off this, um, I don't even know what you would call it. I guess it's like a little cake, sort of like a tiramisu, I would say. So the one she got me was a purple potato ube type dessert, and it was fantastic and even though it was a big dessert it was very light because it was like an asian type dessert which is generally a little bit lighter and less sweet so hubby and i shared it but it was very very easy to eat and not at all like too filling or anything like that so that was so sweet of her to pick that up for me she also got me six pastries from le gourmand which unfortunately i forgot to take a photo of but i have showed treats from le gourmand before inside the box were two of their peanut butter cookies which are my favorite i've showed them many many times in my videos she also got us an oatmeal raisin cookie a pan au chocolat an almond croissant and a plain croissant and all of them were delicious we enjoyed everything the last birthday thing i wanted to mention before ending off this vlog is that my friend invited us over to her place for brunch and she made us eggs florentine and it was delicious i'm not a huge eggs benny person when i go out to brunch restaurants i don't tend to order eggs benny and i've never made it at home she made us this beautiful eggs florentine brunch with sausage and home fries we cleaned our plates it was so good and she bought me a mango cake for my birthday her family loves this mango cake that they get from a Chinese bakery so again very fresh very light 
not too sweet and super delicious. Hubby and I had brought over some donuts from Isabella's. They were very good and our friends really enjoyed them, which was nice. I think those are all of the birthday updates. One thing I have to say about this year's birthday, the interesting part of it was that when I woke up, I didn't really, and even in the time leading up to my birthday, I didn't even feel like it was my birthday. Maybe after having 44 birthdays before this, I turned 45 this year. It's just like another day for me and I just really loved having a quiet morning, working on my book and just doing like the usual stuff. And it was interesting because I kept kind of like not not that I was forgetting that it was my birthday, but it wasn't like such a huge deal like I think it was in previous years maybe. I put much more pressure on myself for the day that I had to have like a special day. Whereas this year I felt really good about having a regular day. And maybe the pandemic was part of it because I've had a few low-key birthdays in the past few years. That was just an observation that I wanted to share. That is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you again for watching and I hope you're all doing very well. I will see you in the next one. Bye!